there fellow exiles I am Marana and welcome to cooking with Marana today I want to um, tell you a little bit about some of the foods that's available throughout the exiled lands um, beyond just being filling when you're hungry there are foods that have some other benefits to them and that's what I'm going to look at today campfires you know that's pretty basic you get the meat you throw it on it grills that you eat it and don't die <laughs> um, when things start getting a little interesting is when you are able to use the stove you unlock this at level 29 and when you unlock the stove you get a small set of recipes that come with the stove but there are 10 additional specialist cooking books that are out among the exiled lands so I'm gonna take a few minutes and just show you real quickly where they are located and then we can look at some of the recipes so let's get started so I think of the map as divided into like the lower map and the upper map because you can't get it all on the screen at one time so we're gonna start with the lower map um, I'm gonna start over at drifters rest and we'll work um, from right to left and then with the upper map um, we'll start kind of um, at the aqueduct and work our way west to the mounds of the dead drifters rest is in the jungle it's located kind of in the middle of all the the islands um, the book we're looking for is at a little camp that's right on the edge of the water so there's this little teeny island in the middle of all that there will be two thralls there when you get there sometimes there's a named thrall um, and sometimes there isn't so it's kind of just random um, we had a name a named thrall here I am in God mode and have like some of the best weapons just to <laughs> to be able to make it um, quick but here on this little bench by the fire is a specialist cooking tin Next up is the summoning place, and that's kind of central desert. Uh, there are quite a few things that you'll need to fight your way through to get into the summoning place. Once you enter, you'll go straight up the first set of stairs until you get to this area where you have to make a choice left or right. It does get darker, and those drums do beat the entire time you're in the summoning place if you haven't been in there yet to experience the lovely drum beating. Um, when you get to that choice, you're going to want to take the stairs to the left. You'll have some guys that you'll need to clear out on this landing. And then there's another set of steps to the left and you want to go up those steps. The book is on this level, but there are three guys up here that you'll need to take out. And then you will find the book um, over by the tent. Don't wait, four guys up here you need to take out. <laughs> and then the book is laying on the floor by the, the first tent on the right as you come up the stairs. And that is where you find specialist cooking one and six. And up next, we've got the Tower of Bats. Now, this one's going to be a little bit of a climb. Um, there are some of the rock noses that you'll need to take care of. Um, the main thing about climbing up to the Tower of Bats is to watch your stamina. And if you find an area where there's a lot of places that you can stop and rest, that's going to make it um, a lot easier. I like to go up the side that faces the river because there's a lot of little ledges on the rocks. Now, I didn't have my stamina. Um, I had endless stamina when I went up, up this one. But um, usually, unless you just have a lot of heavy stuff on, the climb isn't that bad. Although, occasionally you will slip. So once you reach the top, um, the book is in like at the bottom of the stairs that actually leads up to 
the bat boss. Now, he won't aggro, and you'll get the um, journey point for climbing the Tower of Bats if you haven't done that yet. Um, he normally doesn't aggro if you just, it's right inside this door um, to the left. So you can kind of sneak in there and get it, and he doesn't aggro. Um, and this is Specialist Cooking 8. Muriela's Hope is our last spot in the lower map. Um, it's in the middle of the desert, and it is at the top of this wooden scaffolding stuff. Um, just right to the right of the temple. Not a whole lot you have to worry about um, killing to get up here. So it's just whatever you have to do to get through the desert part. And this is where you find cooking... Specialist Cooking 6. Now we're heading a little north. Um, this trapper's cabin is just um, to the north from the desert section. It's um, right at the northern aqueduct. And on the edge of this little lake is a little cabin. You've got three people to worry about here. Um, there's an archer and then the other guy that sits by the campfire. Occasionally there may be a named thrall here, but most of the time it's it's just these two. Um, there is a third one in the cabin, but you can get to the bench and get the cooking recipe if you don't want to fight him. That specialist cooking five. Inside the cabin is a um, chest full of some high-level mats, so I recommend going ahead and getting that third guy to get the chest. If you follow along the aqueduct to the north, at the other end from the trapper's cabin is Leon's Watch. This is a good area. We actually build in this area a lot because you've got so much stone, um, trees, and a ton of iron in this area. So this is a great place to build a base. You can get Leon um, as a thrall and new Azagarth is just on the other side of this little rock place to the left and you can get a lot of good thralls from in there but for the recipe you're going to come up to the cabin there will be an archer that you'll see first coming in from this way i try to pull that archer first and get him by himself if i can leon hits pretty hard so as many of the guys around the camp that you can take out before you get to him the better um, and there occasionally will be a second name thrall here like there was this time but that's very rarely that you'll run into two of them up there but it does happen once you take care of those guys to the hut on the right um, on the ground right beside the hut is where this book it's specialist cooking nine it can be really easy to miss that one's kind of hard to see but it's there up next we're heading to a place that doesn't really have a specific name um, it's a large stone pillar that's south of sky home ruins and when you go into that area on the map you'll see um, some of the pillars for like the destroyed bridge and it's going to be um, the one on the right. Now this one can be a little bit of a pain. This was probably the one I've had the most trouble with to get up to until I figured out um, kind of the best way to go up. But um, I would go ahead and put down a sleeping bag because, you know, things happen. Um, I even sometimes will take a chest with me uh, when I go out to do this because I know I need to be as light as I can be um, to not wear down my stamina. Um, I did go ahead, I've been playing this in God mode, but I did go ahead and remove the um, no sprint cost so you can see how quickly um, your stamina can go down. And again, like I mentioned on the Tower of Bats, this is one of those places where you want to have somewhere that you can stop and regain stamina before going up again. This is also one of those places where sometimes you'll just hit a point and 
can't seem to go any farther. This is kind of on the inside of the pillar and you can see between those two spaces at the top um, that's kind of the I guess decoration on the edges so we need to go up that part to not have to climb out on that part that overhangs if that makes any sense. What we want to do is come right up this spot and then it's just an easy little hop to the top and the book is um, if the aqueduct is out that way in New Asgarth then the book is on the inside right here and this finally is specialist cooking two the last two books are located in the mounds of the dead um, I think of it as the um, small hut and the large hut um, there's quite a bit of stuff you have to to kill in that area to get into the huts um, but if you're at the right level and um, take your time <laughs> going in um, specialist cooking three is located in the small hut and then specialist cooking four you're gonna find in that little bit larger hut they both are just inside the door um, and down on the floor but you do have quite a bit of things to clear um, around uh, the Mounds of the Dead to get to those books. All right, so now you know where the recipes are, so you can start collecting them as you go through the game. Um, as you progress in the game, you get higher level foods, which will give you some added benefits. Rhino Head Soup is a really good um, meal to have. It's going to give you, it, it's going to feed you. It will quench 14 points of thirst. It health regens at 7 points over 3 seconds and has plus 3 encumbrance. So this is really a good one to have when you're out farming. It gives you that, that extra bump in <laughs> In conference that can help you get back to your base with all of the great stuff you've just found. The thing with the rhino head soup is though it has to you have to have the head of a black rhino. The regular rhinos do not work and the black rhinos are pretty rare. I think I've maybe seen one and it's usually such a pain to get to because it's out with the other rhinos and the other mammoths and yeah. Um, another couple of things, I'll throw this up. The um, recipes from Conan's Kitchen, the cooked moray eel, that has seven health regen over three seconds, but you get plus three vitality and plus three grit. And anglerfish, plus three vitality. The thing with these fish recipes is they you have to get them from an improved fish trap and to get the improved fish trap you have to do the sunken city go through the sunken city and the deep sea fisher feet is what you're looking for and that is in the room with the big fish carcass in the sunken city one of the meals I like best in the higher levels is the exotic feast exotic flesh isn't too bad to come by in the highlands um, and then it just takes an egg and dried berries which are pretty pretty easy to get the exotic feast has 14 health points over three seconds so that's wonderful for helping to get your health back up the thing to watch out with the exotic feast though is although it does not have any spice in it which most of the food that warms you has a warming up effect does have the spice in it but this does the effect that this gives you is a warming up effect so you don't want to use it in the desert um, it can get you overheated and cause big problems and of course you want to get a preservation box as soon as you can to keep all of the food that you have worked so hard to cook fresh all right, so that wraps up cooking in the exiled lands. Um, I hope this was was helpful, and you know now where you can find some of the recipes and some of the food that will help with different aspects of your gameplay. Um, if you got something out of the video and enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you would just tap that little like button, 
that helps out my channel so very much and if you're not already subscribed while you're down in that general area just hit that subscribe button and join me as I make my way through the exiled lands. Until next time, everybody take care and play nice.